Hello and welcome to TCG Buzz. My name is Jacob and today I've got some Magic the Gathering for you. Ooh. Uh, this is Corset 2021. Such an awkward name, but it's a cool product. This is the bundle we're opening. Uh, this is going to be really interesting because I've, off camera, I opened a bundle already and I also opened two pre-release kits. And in my lock on all of it was horrendous. <laughs> So we'll see if uh, either all my luck was put right into this boy right here that we've saved for this video, or if I just suck. Uh, also, if you want to buy one of these, uh, we have a TCG Player affiliated link in the description below. So if you are planning on buying one and you're going to buy from TCG Player because they're great, uh, you can do so and we'll get a small cut of the proceeds. So, you know, you can help keep these very bright lights on. All right, let's get into it. No more uh, showmanship, no more no more ads for our stuff, nothing like that. We just need to crack it open. I'm gonna use a screwdriver because I have nothing else on hand. All right, so. This set's got some really cool cards in it. Uh, the card I'm really looking for, though, uh, would be the uh i want the showcase cultivate in foil that's what i really want from the set um i don't really care about teferi or ugin or anything like that look at how much garbage it gets oh security tag cool um i don't really care about any of the real expensive cards i want the cultivate though because it's pretty uh and then i just want stuff to have you know so here's our our dice we're in a very blue mood today uh we've got a blue play mat blue theme box blue dice and i've got some blue sleeves for the good cards uh so we're very blue today uh so we're gonna go through what's in here uh, I like the storage boxes. These are some of my favorite storage boxes to just use for random sets of cards. We have 10 booster packs plus uh, some garbage reference cards that no one needs. Uh, and then I will open these up. Usually I keep these sealed, but I want to show them because they're cool. First pack we have... We'll go through them too. Uh, we got some lands, as you can see here. Uh, so this is the showcase lands. I think they're very pretty, especially in foil. These are not the foil ones, but they're still pretty. You get one of each showcase basic land plus a bunch of normal basics that no one cares about. I think they're nice. I think there's some very visually appealing lands. I certainly like them better than the Theros ones. I was not a fan of those. Just didn't like them. And then in the second pack here, we have our very very, very wonderful pack leader. Mmm. He looks, uh, this is the alt art pack leader, and it looks fantastic, and I love it, and I have no intention to play it in anything, but I'm just, I am happy to have it in my collection. It's a very fun little card. Certainly better than Ikoria's alt art card, because, yikes. Uh, so then you get one of each of the lands in foil, in showcase. These are great. I mean, they're not going to be worth anything because, like, you get them in this, you get five of them, plus they're really common in collector's packs, like, almost one per pack. Uh, so they're not going to be worth a ton, but they certainly are pretty. Very easy way to really bling out, like, a commander deck. And um, then you, you get basics, you know, non-showcase, but still in foil. They're cute. Um, not worth anything, like I said, but they're, they're cool. And then we get ten booster packs. Mix them. Mix them. Mix them all up. And we're going to just start cracking them open. I believe these are... Ooh, that's tough to open. Yeah, the pull tab's not working. Oh, well. I don't really like using them anyways, and I'm too clumsy. But they are the uh, in this style where you get the good cards in the front, I guess, would be how you... We got an uncommon foil... And our rare, what's his name, Conspicuous Snoop. Uh, I don't think he's very good. Uh, what do you guys think? Good card? Bad card? Okay card? I don't know. Uh, did we get any? Uh, I'm gonna just, I just fly through the uncommons and commons because I honestly really don't care, especially since, you know, it's corset stuff, so it's not exactly a, uh, 
a big victory to get cool commons from them. But uh, you can get showcase cards in those slots, so we'll look through and check for those. Uh, I'm, I'm digging the set, though. There's some good stuff. There's a extra land. Very nice. And a foil common. And we get this ridiculous card. This card's going to be very fun. It's in... I think it's going to see play in Historic in Arena. That's going to be fun. Uh, standard, maybe? I don't know. It's very fun. Uh, historic, I think, is where it's going to see the most amount of play, though. But that's a fun rare. If Not necessarily the best rare in the world, but it's fun. It's a unique one. I'll give it that. Uh, next pack. Basic. Just the rare. Um, this is a demon enchantment. Yeah, it's... It's cute. It's not really my type of thing. Let's see. Uh, anything good? Nope. Uh, so far, not doing so well. My my bad luck streak is continuing. Maybe all the good stuffs in, you know, the last couple packs or whatever. Uh, let's hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be a very boring video. Uh, let's. Oh, okay. A foil rare. I'll take a foil rare. Nine lives. Foil rare. And there's our regular rare. That is, I'll take it. It's it's not exactly like a crazy good foil rare or anything, but it is a cool card. It's got some good flavor behind it. We've got six packs left. What do you guys think of Core 2021? Are you buying into it? Are you gonna buy a collector's booster and say screw the normal set, or just not your thing? We got we're doing really well in the foils, but nothing, nothing else. There's a showcase common, hooray. Halfway through, and so far it's been... Eh. Come on, give me, like, the big pull. The big pull. Hey! That's not terrible. It's a Garouk! Uh, I'll take a Mythic. I, I, I know Garouk's decent, but I don't think he's crazy good, question mark? I don't know. It's, uh, at the time I'm recording this, the set's still very new, so we'll have to wait and see a little bit, uh... Eh. Hey. I like I like the Chandra framed cards. They actually look really nice. Um, these showcase frames aren't my favorite they've ever done, but they're not they're not bad. I like them more than the Theros ones. Uh, but they're not the most interesting thing either. Uh, another eh pack. We're down to two packs. Uh, please give me something good in the end, or else I'll be sad and I'll have to buy like seven more of these to drown my sorrows in cards. That's how they get you. They get you sad that you didn't pull any. Oh, a scry lamp. Thanks. Thanks. I'm so happy. I'm thrilled to get that. I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled. I hate them. Why are they rares? Why did they reprint them less than a year after printing them as a reprint? Uh, that's a good reprint. See, that's how you do it. That's a good reprint. I like that a lot better. And that's it. Uh, that was not very good. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not going to overhype this and be like, Most amazing Magic the Gathering opening ever? Nah, it was... Sometimes you're lucky and great. It's not the worst I've ever gotten. I've done worse. But, uh... Could be better. It could be a lot better. I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, make me feel better by uh, commenting down below your sympathies. Or tell me about your good pulls. Have you pulled any Yugans? Any Teferis? Hmm. And uh, make sure to check that TCG player link. Uh, it really helps us. Our biggest struggle is with funding for the show because it's expensive to just be here and record. So uh, let, let me know. You know, if you're uh, gonna go on a spending spree after using our link. And uh, I'll leave you with join our Discord. And see you guys next time.